I'd like to just introduce you to the test lab here. It's a all-in-one installer's troubleshooting kit. Um, it does a whole range of different things, and I'll, I'll, I'll start with one thing. It has a power amplifier built in that will drive loudspeakers. Even on a busy working site where people are using drills and so on, you can hear which speaker the sound's coming out of. It's got a three band oscillator, so 70 hertz, 1K, 4K5, so you've got all your crossover bands covered. It also has pink noise. Um, it has a cable tester. You you can send signal out and it has meters for the output signal and meters for the input signal so you can see exactly what you've got so if I connect the output to the input you can see you've got the same level so if you're trying to find out whether a unit is attenuating or not attenuating or even giving you any signal you can do that it's got a built-in speaker so you can hear what's coming through um, it does cable testing, so you can test XLR, phono, jack, speak on, and you can also test four pole speak ons with the, um, the indicators have a different brightness when it's two plus, two minus. Um, the cable tester also has a remote, so if you're on a multi core, you can have this unit at one end, have this at the other end and your colleague in seconds can tell whether there's all the conductors connected or not. Um, so it's also got lights, so it's got red lights, working lights, so you can solder. If you're in a situation where you want to retain your night vision, it's got white lights. It's also got a flashlight on the front, and you can have the flashlight and the um, and the working lights. It's got a, a rubber base, so it's non-slip, it doesn't sort of move around. It's powered, it's powered with two batteries, two PP3 9 volt batteries, which are easy to replace. One, one battery is for the circuitry and one battery is for the lights. You can easily swap them over if it runs out. If you plug in mains, as well as powering the unit, it tells you what voltage is, so here, you can see it's 110 volts. Um, in the UK, it would come up at 240. And when you're on battery, the red light comes up. So for me, I do quite a lot of installation site work. And the amount of times that A, I've been able to solve a problem really quickly and really confidently, uh, it, or the amount of time it saved me is immense. So, you know, as, as a working tool for professional guys installing sound systems, it just, it, it's got 99.9% .9 of the things that you will need generally to test and set up systems. Mm -hmm.